back to that negative receivable kind of portion or method so that the accounting department can continue doing what they're doing, which is working fine for what they are doing. So that's going to be our objective this time, noting that as we do the reversing entry, we're going to reverse it as of the first day of the following period. One question you might ask is you might say, well, shouldn't I reverse it at the date that, that, the, that we're going to receive the payment, for example, so that I reverse it and I'm closer to an accrual basis for a longer period of time? The point of our adjusting and reversing interest, however, is not to be closer to an accrual basis during longer periods of the month but rather to make the end point when we're making the financial statements shown on more of an accrual basis or the accounting method that we need to present the financials in. And for the rest of the time period, we want to basically make the accounting process as easy as possible. So to do that, the cutoff date, we're going to make the cutoff date as succinct as possible at the end of the period, all adjusting entries. And then the first day after that, 